doing a video on a 360 wig from wowafrican.com. Now there was like a bit of a processing time because they didn't have the wig in stock when I ordered it. So the processing time was about five days and then it only took two days to come to me after that. So in all in total, it took about seven days for me to receive my wig. The wig came through FedEx Express and the shipping was, of course was very fast. So when you open your box, you receive a 2017 calendar. You get this very helpful hair care guide which gives you some tips about styling your hair and how to get the longest wear out of your wig. And last but not least, you also receive a blue comb that says, I love you, sweet, sweet tea. That's what you get in here as well. So let's talk about this wig. So basically a 360 is quite different from a lace front as well as a full lace wig. A full lace wig is basically lace all throughout the wig so you are able to make a straight part from the front of your forehead on back to your nape area. You can make a part anywhere on the wig cap. A lace front wig is basically you can part it within the lace that comes with it. Usually lace fronts are about two to three inches of parting space. The frontal wig is basically an entire frontal, a full frontal from one side of your ear to the other side of your ear and about four to six inches on back. And then they fill it in the rest of your head with tracks and that will complete that wig. Um, so those are the three different options and now they also came up with a 360 lace wig. And so basically a 360 lace wig is a full lace frontal in the front of your head and that comes with about four inches of parting space typically and it gives you a partial lace frontal in the back and it's connected, so it, it basically forms a 360 or a circle all around the perimeter of your head, creating a lace all around the perimeter of your head, which equals to parting space all around the perimeter of your head. So you will not be able to make a part down the center of your head, down in the middle of your head, because that part is filled in with actual bundles of tracks. Typically a lot of lace wigs and a lot of lace front wigs come in 130% density on up to 150 depending on where you get it from and how much you're paying for it. But this wig is 180% density. And so if you're interested in the specs of the wig that I will be wearing today, this wig is called the TLW03 wig. The hair color is natural, the hair length is 20 inches, the density is 180% and the hairline is pre-plucked. So here is a coupon code if you're interested in purchasing. You can save $20 with the code W360. So there is four inches of parting space from your forehead on back and then around the sides and the back you get two inches of parting space. And there are wefts at the crown to fill in this 360 frontal. Alright, so now that we got all of that out the way, it's time to try this wig on. Super nervous about this because this is my first time trying on a 360. So turning this wig inside out, it reminds me of a typical lace front wig. There is an adjustable strap in the back as well as a comb in the back. And then you get three combs in the front of this wig on the frontal. So you can wear it glueless. You don't necessarily have to glue it down with anything. However, I do suggest though, if you are wearing it in a ponytail, maybe put some glue back there. But let's see how it looks first and let's see how it's fitting. So I'm just gonna cut the lace off of this wig by getting as close to the hairline as I possibly can. When you're doing this step, please be careful. You do not want to cut off any of the knots because that will lead to shedding. So you want to take your time and do this. Okay, so now that I cut all of that lace off, it is time to try this wig on. I'm basically going to put it on from the back and then stretch it forward. different look for me. up in a ponytail, but then I noticed that my nape, the way that the back of my hairline is, 
the way that it just naturally grows is a little bit lower than the average hairline in the back. So I noticed that when I put the wig on and I put it in a bun, that some of my hair was still showing in the back. Although I was pulling it down, trying to make sure that it covered my little naps in the back, it did not cover my little naps in the back. And I suppose to get that completely covered, I would have to either glue tape or gel down the wig in the back to make sure that none of those naps are showing through because I mean, that would, hold, that would completely defeat the whole purpose of you having a 360 lace frontal wig if your hair is showing in the back and it's a different texture. So, yeah, if I was to ever wear this wig and a ponytail or a bun, I would have to definitely make sure that that, that hairline in the back is secured down because you just don't want your hair if it's a different texture showing through like mine. So, yeah. So I am going to go ahead and sew an elastic band around the back of this wig. I know a lot of people wanted to see how I do that, so I will show you right now. So basically to sew the elastic band on, I'm going to measure it from my left ear to my right ear. I'm stretching the material and now I'm going to just cut it here. I'm going to sew it from here. I don't know if you guys can see, I hope you can see this. But this is the frontal part of this wig. I'm going to make sure that the frontal part is as flat as possible so I won't have to wear any glue, tape, or gel on my hair. I'm going to basically sew one side of this elastic band and then sew the other side of this elastic band onto this wig. So far.